Are you still using toilet paper on year 2024? Well, you don't need to because on this video, I'm going to show you an alternative way. So make sure you stay tuned. Hey there friends, welcome to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, consider pressing the subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. So we all know that toilet paper is a hot commodity and we use this on our day-to-day -day life. But what if I can show you a product that you will reduce the amount of toilet paper you use, save you some money in the long run? That product will be this Lux Bidet. Now I know there's many bidets out there, but this one I came to find that this one's probably the best one because it has a hot water line feature. Not all bidets have that hot water feature. It's more for comfort. I'm gonna show you how it works and how it functions at the very end of the video, so make sure you stay tuned. I'm not sponsored by Lux Bidet. This is strictly, I bought this with my own money so I can show you on how to install one. So with that being said, let's get started. Let me show you how to install this. It should come with everything that you need to install this successfully, including the tools. Now Lux Bidet has many models. This one is model Neo 320 White. So if you're interested on this specific product and other related products from Lux, um, I'll leave all the links on the description down below. Check out those links. It comes with all the hoses, all the different parts, including the main bidet itself, has the hot and cold feature, the rear feature, has the clean nozzle feature, and it has the feminine feature, these tools. Now you might need some additional tools, which I'll show you in a bit. So with that being said, let's get prepping and show you step number one. Shut off the water to your toilet water supply tank. You have to remove the toilet seat cover and the toilet seat. Now to get access to that, you need to go look underneath here. Screw on cap that you can just twist and loosen up. Or you can go on top of, depending on what toilet seat you have, this one you can pop up the top insert a flathead screwdriver to twist that you can pop that plastic screw out of there and do the same thing on the other side easily pop off the cover please take your disinfectant first before installing anything wipe everything out now it does come with these two caps which you align with the holes right there where your toilet seat used to be you can move this counterclockwise clockwise in order for this to line up with the holes at the top. Now that everything is aligned, you're gonna have to attach your toilet seat back right on top of it. You'll have to reinsert everything like so. So we secured the seat, we tightened down the bolts on both for the toilet seat, and this is what it looks so far. You have this nice and sturdy. This guard right here remains closed, so make sure that it doesn't open. Open that when you need to clean it. Now it's time to hook up the water at the back. Disconnecting this water supply line from the tank. Now the problem with that is your tank probably at the moment is full of water. I'm gonna drain as much water out of here as possible. So, so just flush out all the water that's in there. Hold your flusher. You can get a sponge or you can get a turkey baster or any type of syringe to take out the rest of that water. Rag underneath there, anything that can catch water. Take this T adapter that's provided for you by Lux. Now these are covered with a cap which is labeled half inch, seven eighths. So you're gonna connect this and you're just gonna hand tighten this at first. Let's take out the bottom protective cap to replace that with your old connection hand tighten this right here you don't want to over tighten this okay so the next step is attaching this metal braided hose this is the half inch connection and what's cool about this is it has this wing nut so that you can use it to tighten this without using a tool this is actually a built-in tool already and it flips over so it it goes on both sides because this is a quarter inch, this is a half inch, and you can use it both ways to turn it. So a pretty cool added feature that they added there. Attach tool, place it on top, and give it a nice turn to tighten it. You can move the tool now so that it goes on this end, 
Now be very careful, on the back there are two inserts. This is for the cold water supply line. The other side is for the hot line. We're gonna install that after we install. So make sure you don't get that mixed up. Make sure you don't cross thread it. And you're gonna turn to make it nice and tight. Okay, just like that. Take this tool and place it back here for storage. Just in case for future disconnection. So just a quick recap, we took out the seat, we installed the bidet, we reinstalled the seat, we disconnected this line, connected the T connection, and we installed this line to the cold line at the back. Now it's time to install the hot line, which we're gonna tap into our hot from the sink itself. So look at the bottom of your sink. I have an exposed bottom right here. Um, my hot line will be right there. So we're gonna tap into that hot line using the provided hose line that they issued us. So this is long enough to reach here. Okay, we're gonna shut off this valve. So the tool that you can use, this is not provided, is a crescent adjustable wrench. plumber's tape I'm just gonna take that off and put new ones around there they do provide some tape for you there we go I should have provide you with this T fitting so make sure that the gasket is inside of this so it does not leak a clockwise manner like this so the next step is now to reinstall back the sink hose Go clockwise, wrap it around two to three times. Retighten this at the top. I'm gonna try to see how much you need and cut off the excess. So what I did was I temporarily just screwed this on here so I can kind of figure out where to route this hose. You can cut it to length of what you need. I know it doesn't look aesthetically pleasing, but if you have one that is closed, you won't have much of this stuff exposed. But end of this hose and connect it to this fitting right here. There you go. I'm gonna take this nut and feed it right on the face of it. It's gonna push that right onto that nipple. Okay. Take now that nut and Tighten it up hand first, just like that. Use that connection tool and just tighten it up, just like that. Make sure you use hand pressure only. Hold the bidet just for support. And you don't wanna over tighten this as well. Just place that right there for future use or you can hide this back here. That's pretty much it. Everything is connected. Now we can turn back the water supply down there for the tank and we can turn back on the hot water supply from the sink. Now before you go and test this out, I want you to take your hand and feel around any fitting that you just installed and just take a visual look on every one of these. Use your hands and go around feeling for anything that might be leaking. So now that you saw that nothing is leaking, let's go to self-clean first. You put on self-clean. You wanna put it on whatever temperature that you want and then just lift up the lever. And you see that it is self-cleaning itself before you even use it. Go to the rear setting I want to warn you that this is going to shoot out some water so we're going to take our little pail here to stop the water flow hot water setting and we're just going to blow it out just like this there we go and then you can go to the feminine setting and it'll shoot out as well go to cold and again you can adjust the pressure according to how much you want it. There's a low pressure, high pressure, hot. 
there you have it friends that's how easily you can install this bidet again this has the hot feature on it it has three settings the rear the feminine and the self-cleaning as well so if you have any questions on how i installed this video kind of leave it in the comment section down below if you have one of these or something similar let me know also in the comment section down below what your experience is do you recommend this to have this as a standard for every homeowner because given you still have to use the toilet paper one not but this definitely will save you a lot on your toilet paper usage okay friends but this is a definitely a must it will keep you 100% clean and much better than just using toilet paper in my honest opinion. So another thing that you want to kind of want to look out for for this one is you don't want to just push this lever way up because it will shoot out a, a very strong stream of water. You want to kind of gradually lift up the lever to the pressure that you want so you don't get that unusual surprise okay friends so if you're interested on this similar bidet this one i highly recommend this one because it has the hot water feature i'll leave the link on the description down below and other models that are similar to this i'll leave it on the link down below as well thank you so much for watching friends so if you find this video super helpful friends please hit that big thumbs up press the subscribe notification bell and i'll see you friends on the next video